These poets are amazing. A campfire smoke blending into a night sky, amazing. Front row, amazing. Mosh pit, amazing. Dancing with someone you actually love, amazing. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube. I am Joe Atticus Inch, and welcome to this week's episode of Poet Love. Now, I've been active in the poetry community for about five years. That does not mean that I've known everyone who's been in the poetry community throughout those five years. Sometimes I get a little behind on the times. But, when I discover someone who's been around for a while and just get newly acquainted to their work within, say, about a year or so, it's still just as great to discover it. And that is all I really have to say to introduce today's poet, Sean Patrick Mulroy. Or as he used to be known, or at least how I used to see his name, Sean Patrick Conlon. Why the name change? I don't know. But anyway, about Sean Patrick Mulroy. He was born and raised in Southern Virginia. He studied at Hampshire College, where he founded the first nationally certified spoken word venue based on a college campus, and of course was the Slam Master of the Hampshire College Slam Collective. Throughout his years of poetry, he's been, he's been to 13 national poetry competitions, released four music albums, and according to his website, released a thousand books of poetry. And knowing the man's work, at, and depending on your definition of book, um, doesn't really surprise me. He also created the Pornography Diaries, which was a one-man show which mixed rock and poetry, which discussed the effects of romantic and pornographic media on love and sex in modern society. The corresponding book, The Pornography Diaries, was released in 2009 on Penmanship Books. And I've really gotten into Sean's poetry since meeting him and actually hearing him perform, uh, I believe, last year. I, I, the date kind of slipped my mind, but... I remember seeing the name Sean Patrick Conlon a lot, especially when I was looking at the Penmanship Books website, and of course a title of a book called The Pornography Diaries kind of jumped out at me. I really couldn't find that much on YouTube to begin with, but luckily he did a feature at my home venue, Writing Wrongs, and... It was just one of the best features, just in the sense of connection to the audience with his work. I mean, it was just basically he sat down, he read his poetry from his chapbook corral here, and the work is just, it's just really good. I mean, it's, it's like with most of the poets I talk about, he has a good balance of mix. Uh, he has kind of funny stuff like poem for flirtation from your straight male friends, and also in this, um, and also just some really great looks on serious things. Uh, the endless warm El otro hombre. Even in this book alone, uh, he has a trilogy of poems that I just call the Horse Made of trilogy. Uh, it consists of the Horse Made of Rain, the Horse Made of Sweat, and the Horse Made of Water. But the thing. The piece of work that I have with Sean's that really jumped out at me is this special edition book that he had on his sale. It's called Elegy in 14 Parts, A Poem for the Life of Rock Hudson. If you don't know who Rock Hudson was, Rock Hudson was a movie star back in the golden age of cinema. He was also one of the... He was also a closeted homosexual and I I've heard a lot about Rock Hudson like there was I heard a story one time that someone tried to blackmail Rock Hudson with pictures of his gay lover and what he did was he 
and a bodyguard went, beat the shit out of the guy, and then burned the picture. So, if there's anyone out there who likes to think that homosexuals are pansies, per se, then your place in the afterlife will be getting your ass kicked by Rock Hudson over and over again. And that's exactly what you deserve. But anyway, what also just was great about Sean is like, I actually, before his feature, did meet him. He came, he, he was, just came to a feature that we had at Writing Wrongs. He was, I don't know if he was on the road or whatever. Um, but he came and he did a poem and it was really good. I, the name of the poem slips my mind. But, you know, I was, I was talking to him is because it was, he was a name that I've heard, but I never heard anything of. And when I finally went up and talked to him, he was just really nice. He was really generous. And that that's one of the most important things to me that makes me a fan of your poetry is if you're a good person. I, if you haven't gotten that from the past videos. If you're a good person, and at least in my standards of a good person, I'm going to look at your poetry a lot more brightly. But even if I'd never met Sean, his work is just great. And... He also, when he did his feature at Writing Wrongs, he had a box. He just did a, a tour around the world, really. He just really toured around the world. And he had a box full of things he collected. And a lot of the things I still have, including... Ah, crap. Where'd it go? I just had it. I just had it. Oh, well. But he had vintage post, vintage pictures that he wrote a poem on the back of. And he was just giving them away. And I think that shows someone who really loves the work and really wants to. And they're, they're great poems. And so, Sean, I appreciate your generosity... I appreciate your work, and I am highly anticipating everything that is to come from you. And I hope our paths cross again and I get to hear more of it. And that's all I can really say about Sean. Uh, please check out his website. Uh, I will be listed it in the credits below. Look for his videos on YouTube. I know he actually has more of them on now. And on that note... It's time to go back into the magic shoe box here to pick out next week's poet. <laughs> next week's gonna be fun. Until then, my name's Joe Atticus Inch, reminding you to keep your pens moving, live long and prosper. I will see you next week on Poet Love.